All right, uh, I want to talk about a quick product that'll aid in your live and dry fire training. Uh, for our training for firearms, it's something that we all have to do on a regular basis. And we need to do that so our skills don't uh, degrade at all. And it can be a challenge sometimes because even if you do a lot of dry fire at home, if you don't have some sort of standard to bump it up against, it might not be a very quality dry fire session. Uh, the same goes for live fire at a range. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you just go out at home and, and you just safely unload your gun and you start dry firing against a wall, that's great for getting the basic handling of the gun down. But if you're not really getting a good analysis of what your trigger finger's doing, what you're doing, then you may just be reinforcing bad habits and unfortunately you may not even know that you're doing it. So something like this, this little tool right here that I got my hands on uh, might be a great thing for you guys. So this is uh, Mantis. It's a little sensor right here. Mounts on the rail of a handgun or a rifle and it does have an attachment that you can put it on a barrel of a rifle or whatnot. And it works with an app. You download the app offline. It's free. Uh, it works via Bluetooth and it analyzes your trigger manipulation. So it gives you something to work on. Uh, it's extremely sensitive, extremely sensitive. Uh, you think you might have an excellent trigger squeeze and all that stuff and you get on here and you start working with it and you're like, oh, wow, I had a couple bad trigger pulls. It basically keeps you really honest. And I'll kind of show that to you. Now this app has a lot of different features. You got a lot of different programs between two hands, one hand, draw, holster, all kinds of different stuff. Um, but what I'll show is just the basic open practice here. So I selected dry fire, I'm right-handed, and the device is mounted forward. I already have it linked up, so I'll hit start. And I'll just do a quick five-shot string, and I'm just using snap caps in here. So what I'll do is we'll do shot one. So there you go, 96.2. And the score is from zero to 100. So I've noticed that anything over 90 is a really good shot. There's 97, 98, 97, and 95. All right, so there's my five shots. So I'll hit stop. Average score, 96.9. And I can swipe. So there's my averages right there. You can swipe over, gives you a little bit of a graph on your trigger press movement and your hold movement. There's another little graph right there and just information for you to use. So um, what I'll do now is I'll speed it up a little bit. So same thing, we'll hit start. So I'll speed it up. There you go, that's five shots faster. So what you start to see, as you see right here, this is detecting a little bit of the movement. So now I'm seeing a trend as I speed up my trigger. Now keep in mind, this is very sensitive. So the gun is actually not moving much, but it's still detecting a little bit of movement to the left. Again, I can go, my average score 92.3, I had an 88 and then the rest were in the 90s. So um, this cool thing right here is it kind of shows how the gun moves um, and this isn't representative of the target I guess it's just kind of it's a target graph but again the movements are very fine this is a very sensitive deal uh, in reality my perception the gun really isn't moving at all or just a hair but this is picking it up which is great because it's really fine-tuning how I work my trigger uh, not only does this help for analyzing your own uh, muscle memory and your own technique, it also analyzes the handgun too, because you can use this on multiple handguns and you could determine, well, let's see, with this m and I'm pretty good. Am I the same way with an HK VP9, which has a slightly different striker fired trigger? Or throw it on a 1911 with a single, sta a single stage trigger or on a double action. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this to just kind of analyze where you're at with different firearms. So I really like the setup. 
Uh, again, the app is free. You can use this on rifles as well. I've been kind of focusing on handguns with this uh, because I think handguns is something that people should really, really train in. Uh, we normally carry handguns. I carry a handgun day to day for work uh, and then off duty as well. So it's something that's really important. Uh, so I tend to focus on handguns, but you can use it on rifles too, and it'll do the exact same thing. So in any case, check them out. It's Mantis. Um, it's a great little product. And just to show you, on and off, real easy. You can hold to turn that off. And there you go. And you can see the app just picked up that it's turned off. You can turn it off, turn it on again and connect it. Uh, this will fit to most rails. This has right here a little USB hookup. So for charging and whatnot and all that good stuff, you can do so. And then this has all your stuff in here. It has the cord. It has some different attachments for this right here. If you want to throw this on something a little bit bigger, um, heavy barrel like a rifle or, or, or whatnot, you can do that. You also have these right in here to um, put inside if you need to adjust the fit. But anyway, there it is. Uh, feel free to put your input in on the comment section. But I think anything that helps uh, analyzes and diagnoses for you and it gives you an honest response um, I think that's a good thing. All right. Thanks a lot for listening and watching. And of course, sub, sub, subscribe, like, you know, that whole YouTube spiel. Thanks for all your support and stay safe.